You're itching to dive into the world of micro crochet, but not sure where to begin? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm Marta, and I've been into yarn and hooks for more than half my life. In this video, I'll be sharing with you five essential tips to get started on your micro crochet journey. Plus, stay tuned for two bonus tips, including one that'll save your fingers from a tiny hooks wrath. Let's jump right in. Tip number one, folks, start with the basics. If you're new to crochet, it's crucial to first master the fundamentals using a regular sized hook and yarn. Trust me, attempting micro crochet right off the bat with a 0.4 millimeter US size 16 might lead to some frustration. Now, if you're already a crochet whiz but haven't tackled the ultra small hooks yet, here's tip number two. Begin with the smallest hook you've ever used and then go a couple of sizes smaller. For instance, if you're used to a four millimeter hook, step down to a two millimeter one gradually work your way down to your desired size as you become comfortable handling the smaller hooks. Tip number three is all about colour choice. If you're no stranger to crochet, you know dark colours can be a bit tricky to work with. Well, guess what? The same holds true for micro crochet, but to a higher degree. Opt for lighter shades when starting your micro crochet journey. You will be able to see the stitches much more clearly. Now let's talk patterns. Tip number four recommends sticking with patterns you're already familiar with. A trusty granny square is a fantastic place to kick things off and build your confidence. Now let's talk about tip number five and trust me this one's a game changer for micro crochet. If you can set yourself up near a window but hey I get it. Sometimes we find ourselves crafting away in the evenings or in dimly lit rooms. No worries, just make sure you've got ample light. And here's the kicker, you don't have to splurge. A desk or reading lamp from a budget-friendly place like IKEA uh, will work like a charm. Just make sure it's shining right on your hands as you work away. That way, you'll be all set to conquer those micro crochet projects with ease. Time for our first bonus tip. Say hello to silicone protectors, the finger savers. I I can't count the number of times I've accidentally poked myself with that minuscule hook. These silicone protectors not only shield your fingers from harm, but also improve your grip on those tiny projects. You can find them on Amazon or eBay, or in a pinch, a regular band-aid can work wonders. And here's another bonus tip for you, a magnifier. If a proper light setup isn't enough and you feel like you need an extra assistance, consider getting a desk magnifier with LED lights or magnifier glasses to make micro crochet even more comfortable. There you have it, my five essential tips to kickstart your micro crochet adventure with two awesome bonus tips thrown in for good measure. I hope these insights put you on the path to your first micro project. For more tips and tricks for beginners, check out the playlist linked in the description. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.